Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode on dragon fruit growing. Now, the last time we talked dragons, we built a permanent trellis for our plants. And today I'm going to show you how I built a weatherproof mobile trellis for our dragon fruit plants. And this is great if you live in an area where you need to bring your dragon fruit plants in during the winter time. There's lots of different styles and ways you could build a mobile dragon fruit trellis. This is just the way that we did it because we live in an area that gets six months of rain out of the year and I can't use material like four by fours or two by fours, but there's a lot of really great designs that involve using wood. So let me just show you how we did it. And I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is drill some holes in my pot. The pot size that I'm using is 24 inches, uh, but you could do anything between 15 to 24 inches depending on how many dragon fruit you're gonna be putting in your pot. I am gonna be bolting on a four inch PVC cap to the very bottom. This is what's gonna hold my center column and we're doing about 16 give or take of these pots today and each one of these pots will hold four dragon fruit. So now that that's finished, let's flip the pot upside down and on these pots, there's four plastic tabs that sort of divide this pot up into quadrants, which is perfect. And so I'm gonna use that tab as a marker so that we can drill four holes around the pot. That's gonna hold our PVC pipes. The first hole is gonna be drilled at four and a half inches. And the next hole right there at that next tab, we're gonna drill it at six inches. So we want it spaced just a little bit further away. As we rotate that pot again, this hole will be at four and a half inches, right? Because that's gonna create a level line between the two holes. And then this final hole will be at six inches. And the idea here is for us to be able to put two pieces of PVC pipe in through those holes, which will intersect our column, giving it a little bit better support. Dragon fruit likes to grow on a trellis and it will become top heavy. So when you're doing a trellis inside of a pot, you do wanna make sure that you have a lot of support, a lot of structure, so that it doesn't fall over and then you end up having to rebuild it. This particular design keeps the top of your trellis light, so we're not using a lot of heavy material and it keeps the center of it relatively uh, firm, as you'll see here in a second. So I'm using three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC for the PVC pipes in uh, this, and that center post is a Schedule 40 four inch PVC pipe. So just in case you were wondering. Now we need to make the holes in the column, so I'm just gonna make a little mark on that PVC, make another little mark on that pot, and we're gonna line those up here after the holes are drilled. And what we need to do is line up our holes for our column. So PVC pipe in, we're gonna go ahead and just mark the place on the column where the PVC pipe touches it. And I get it, this is totally low tech, but that's okay. After we've marked the four holes, we're gonna go ahead and drill them out. And very simple here. I don't wanna make the hole too big. And so I'm trying to make it just about the right size of that three quarter inch PVC pipe to where it slides in, but it doesn't have a whole lot of space. So let's line up the mark on the pot with the mark on the pipe. And now we're back in business, all right? So sliding the pipe into the holes, I'm gonna put some caps on each one of them that's gonna keep it nice and secure. And this is what it's gonna look like, all right? So the next thing we wanna do is basically the same exact thing, but for the top. So I'm gonna create an X pattern on the top of that PVC pipe, that's kind of gonna give me some indication as to where to drill my hole. So nothing complex here. We're gonna offset the holes just like we did below. The first one will be at two inches. The next hole will be at three and a half inches. This next hole will be at two inches again. And then of course the last hole will be at three and a half inches. Now where you place your holes, it's completely up to you and what material you use is uh, completely up to you. I needed something light, something weatherproof, and uh, I think this is gonna do the trick. So I guess time will tell. We're gonna go ahead and drill out those holes. And this is uh, what we're gonna be placing the top pipes in, which is gonna create the actual support trellis for our dragon fruit. So we've got our holes drilled. I'm now gonna backfill that entire pipe. So from floor all the way to where our first hole is with gravel. And this is gonna strengthen our center support. Let's go ahead and cut some wire mesh. That's gonna create that grid on the top of our trellis and let's assemble everything. So pipe in, we're gonna cap it off. Let's go ahead and add that wire mesh right on top. And notice I'm just like three squares by three squares. And then we're gonna put the other pipe right on top of that. The pipes that I'm using are 24 inches long here on the top. And one last little layer of protection, we're gonna put some plastic electrical conduit and this is gonna allow for that dragon fruit to drape over without it technically touching that 
wire mesh. Uh, that wire mesh, especially when it's rusted, can become a problem. And so if you can paint yours first, even better. I'm going to show you what I ended up doing to kind of protect my dragon fruit from that. But we're going to go ahead and bend those little pieces of the wire mesh down so they don't become a problem later. And this is what it looks like. Everything is zip tied together. Our trellis support is now built. We've only got two things to do left. And the first is to add a garden mesh on our PVC pipe. This type of mesh is used in greenhouses to protect against sun, uh, wind, you know, you can get different colors. The reason we want to add this is because dragon fruit likes to produce aerial roots and they want to grab onto something. And this is going to allow those roots to sort of grab onto that center column and they'll absorb moisture. They'll absorb fertilizers that way. It'll be great. Our mobile trellises are just about finished. Now, there is one little thing that you need to know about, and it's kind of the only problem with this particular design, is that if you are going to use a wire mesh grid, you do have to protect the dragon fruit from coming into contact with that wire mesh. So I'm just going to take a little piece of hose, slice it open on one end to open it up, and then we're just going to wrap this plastic hose around the wire mesh. And that's going to protect our dragon fruit. It's going to keep it from getting any kind of infection or rot due to contact with that wire mesh. And there it is. As our dragon fruit grows through that wire mesh, and then we tip the branches and new branches start to form, it will eventually cascade over that conduit and you'll have a beautiful dragon fruit plant growing in your mobile trellis. If you're new to this channel and you like dragon fruit or sausages, be sure to click that subscribe button. This series is all about how to grow dragon fruit where we start with zero dragon fruit and we hopefully end up with a fully producing orchard in our backyard. And we're gonna cover everything from rooting, planting, tipping, trimming, training, harvesting, and of course, eating these delicious fruits. And if you're into sausages, in just over three weeks, we're premiering episode one of season three, Celebrate Sausage. It's going to be great. Drop me a comment if you have a question. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>